Hello everyone, my name is Suresh Parmi. For tomorrow's workshop on Postman, we are going to set up of this environment today. So if you haven't already installed your uh, setup on your local machine by following the document I shared in the distribution list, please follow this video. If you have already installed, you can either ignore watching this video or for information purpose or to see how differently I have installed on Mac, you can watch this video further. Let's get in. So, in order to have the successful setup for Postman workshop, we have we need a couple of tools. Couple of them are listed here: Postman, Node.js, npm, Newman, JDK, and Jenkins. Postman is is the tool that we are going to use uh, our uh, testing of APIs, uh, <clears throat> and we write the mostly most of our API tests in this Postman tool. And in order to run the Postman test successfully, we need a couple of tools like Node.js, NPM. And Node.js is the language, uh, our scripting language that we used uh, in order to uh, write our own Postman scripts. And in order to have, uh, in order to install a couple of dependent tools on Postman, uh, like Newman, that is a CLI interface for Postman, we can use NPM and get that installed. So we will see one by one and uh, the purpose of it going forward in the workshop. For now, by following this video, we will just get the setup done. So let's move on one by one to install. So in order to install Postman, go to Google and download type download Postman. That will take you to this website where it says postman.com slash downloads. Since I am on Mac, it automatically displays Mac version of the download for Postman. And if you are on Windows, you can watch and you can go, go here and download the corresponding versions on your laptop. So once you download this and once you double click on the in, in download, uh, download uh, package, that will automatically install the Postman by following on screen instructions. So, so once you install Postman, if you open the Postman by double clicking on the icon, that will be opened like this so once it opens then you will see the base window without any tests like this so in order to check whether our installation is correct or not just click on this plus icon where you can find uh, the request uh, request constructor window where we can add a couple of requests and test how it is uh, whether it's installed correctly or not in order to do so I'm using a dummy request available over the internet and pasting it here this this website gives us couple of API's to practice uh, in real world so you can grab this API while you are on workshop and you can practice on your own after this workshop but for the installation verification of this postman we are going to use this and we are going to select the verb as get that means we are going to send a get type of request and once you click on send we will see the response from the uh, from this request for the user's endpoint so we we'll, we will see some response we will discuss more about what this response concerns and how it is constructed in the workshop but for now just focus on whether your api gets uh, giving correctly the response or not so with this your postman installation is successful so if you have any questions further please call me on my mobile number or reach out to me my email that i mentioned in the emails so once this is installed we can move on to the next tool that is node.js in order to install node.js you can go to the website called node.js.org and where you can get the node.js software so always choose the lts version latest stable versions that will be and it also says recommended for most users so i will be downloading this package and once you download this it will be available in my downloads since i already downloaded we can see it in a downloads page i think it's moved to trash already since i installed it yeah so this will be the package that you will get installed on node.js right so let me move it to download so i moved it to downloads once you download you will be seeing this on that pkg in the mac laptop otherwise the uh, corresponding windows setup file and windows so you double click on this it will open up a install and give you online instructions to install so you click on continue 
and wherever it is required agree to the con agree to the terms and conditions and then you are all set to go to install node.js right so if you want this is a default folder installation if you want to change the installation location or where you want to install you can change it in different locations for me i don't want to change it since i already installed i'll just click continue so once i click install that will automatically ask for some password if you are not an admin or to get the admin rights so once you enter the password and click on install it will be automatically installed on your machine so once it installs you can verify the version of it so i click down close move to trash so that's installed and move back to the trash so now once it is installed you can uh, go to terminal and type node space hyphen hyphen version so if you see the version number of this node.js that means your node.js is installed successfully if you are not seeing the version number that means there is some inst installation problem on your machine and you can uh, let me know the error that we will we will fix it today or tomorrow in the workshop right so once you install node.js automatically the npm will be installed on the latest versions if you haven't uh, if we will we, we are going to verify this npm installation as well if it's not installed automatically you can install it manually by uh, following like in node.js and for now we are going to check whether npm is installed or not just type npm hyphen hyphen version right so if you don't see the version number again for npm that means your installation is problem right so uh, once this is installed uh, you can automatically move to the next tool for installation is a new man so new man installation is simple using the new node.js package package manager npm install hyphen g Newman. Here G stands for global. That means this Newman will be installed for all the users with admin privileges on this machine, wherever you are installing. Right. So once you hit enter, that will grab the latest packages from the npm available uh, in the uh, in the installation. So that will be proceeded. If you, you can monitor the progress. Once this is installed, we can also verify the commands right so now since i don't have admin privileges it says i don't have some permissions so in order to do so sometimes you you sometimes you may not find right permissions for installation of any softwares on your mac so if that is the case then switch your users to sudo minus sudo space su space hyphen and then type root so it will ask for your current password enter your uh, mac password that you use now sorry yes, sudo iphone space iphone this that will be uh, giving me the uh, root access so once that is in root access now you can install sorry you can install new main again using npm install iphone g new main so now it's getting installed successfully once this is installed you will be able to run a command to see whether new main installation is successful let it run and then we will um, we will verify the installation yes it's it's ran and updated since i already had new main on my machine it just got updated otherwise it will show installation is successful right so now once this is installed i want to check new i want to check whether this is correctly installed or not new main type run hyphen h hyphen h stands for help and that will list all the commands those are uh, available to use along with new main that means you will be able to see the new main installation is successful if your installation is incorrect you won't see this command instead it says uh, new main cannot be recognized right so that's how we install new main right so if you have any questions further on this as well please reach out to me on my mobile number or my email right so let's move on to installation of jdk and jenkins why do we need this too so in order to run our new main scripts or postman scripts on jenkins server or using remote jenkins we need 
to install Jenkins. In order to install Jenkins, the dependency is the JDK. This is a Java development kit that we can get it by installing by following through Oracle documents. So you can go to Google and type download JDK for Mac if you are on Mac and if you are on Windows you can find that Windows corresponding version and just follow the downloads version here by uh, finding the Mac OS 64 and you can download this .dmg package and if you are on Windows definitely you can find 64 version or x86 and you can download .exe files. Once you download either of these and double click on that download .exe files for Windows or .dmg package for a Mac OS you will be able to install along with the uh, admin privileges. So if you don't have admin privileges, it will be uh, you have to switch to root user like I did here. Right? So if you don't switch again after all the installation, it may or pa partially if it's trying to install and it says you don't have access. So instead of that, you better switch it back to the root before even you start your installation. Right. So let's go back and check. Since I already installed on my machine JDK versions, I just want to check the Java version. If it's already showing the Java versions already on your machine, then you need not to install. So check before you install any software by by giving the, this command with version uh, along with the software name and see if it displays anything. So if it displays anything other than the versions and the information related to that software, that means your installation is not there. So if you don't have installation, please go ahead and install Java or JDK. And if you have already installation, you can skip this installation part. Right. So for me, I already installed Java. So I'm showing it on uh, this command. Uh, by, by issuing this Java iPhone version, I, I will be able to see my uh, JDK versions. Once you install JDK we will be moving on to installation of Jenkins on local machine but before you do that please make sure your JDK is installed successfully right so uh, that's it for uh, JDK and uh, next one is for that's this Jenkins so in order to use in order to download Jenkins for Mac or Windows I have the um, system open I have the website open that says Jenkins.io slash download where you can get it for Mac and if it is on Windows you can go to copy this and go to another website and type you will see what you can download here if you click on download it will automatically recognize your machine and then give you the corresponding Jenkins machine if not you can also scroll down to the bottom and you can download corresponding Windows version or Mac version like this here you will find Mac and here you will find Windows but always like I mentioned earlier for Node.js you can also download LTS this is long term support where it is already tested and proved it is stable. So you can download these kind of versions for most of the softwares and have it on Windows or Mac. So for me, I am on Mac. So I am installing Windows using the brew command. So in order to install uh, the Jenkins, I have listed out uh, two commands here. One of them is uh, install, install command. I'll go to here and type uh, brew install. Jenkins hyphen LTS right. so once you hit on this it will automatically do that installation since I'm already I have already installed my home do is uh, doing that so uh, I am uh, able to see my Jenkins instance uh, setting up is in progress currently this is in progress right so there is some problem so I'm just refreshing it otherwise you will see the Jenkins uh, starting on your machine once you install it correctly but installation of Jenkins will come in different flavors you can either install it as a service or you can just run uh, a var package by having a generic Java package without installation in order to do so you download this uh, Jenkins package somewhere into your folder on a Windows machine and then you can issue a command like this go to that folder where var file is located and then issue the command like this java hyphen jar jenkins dot var file 
so this will automatically start your jenkins on local machine and it will ask you to initially set up the some uh, passwords so i will be proceeding up once once you enter your initial admin password it will try to install some plugins and in my case those are failed so i am continuing as an admin so i will be uh, creating a first admin with my id and passwords so make sure you remember all this uh, otherwise it will be difficult again to reset your password which is waste of time for you so i will be either you can click on save and continue that creates and this is the jenkins url sorry this is the jenkins url where you can access your jenkins on local machine by default it goes to local host and 8080 so i'll just click on save and finish now we can start our jenkins so this is how it looks like when you install jenkins for the first time on your machine have any questions again please reach out to me today or tomorrow before the workshop starts and we should be able to get them resolved if not you can bring those questions to the workshop we will be able to discuss during the breaks for you and we can connect on our uh, screen sharing and look for those issues thank you for watching and i will look forward to see you in the uh, tomorrow